Hello guys, welcome to our Halloween episode. Happy Halloween. Happy na? Sa Halloween. Happy Halloween sa Halloween. Today we are featuring a very infamous na topic and na place sa Davao known for its hauntings and hauntedness allegedly. We did our best to search for ghost stories and the, the real history behind Anong ginatrato sa mga dabawin niyo sa Mandarian Hotel as haunted? Even though nasa sa middle of the street. So, if you want to know the history and the present status of Mandarian Hotel, tune in. Q <laughs> There were only very few high-rise buildings in Davao City. Let alone high-class hotels, the Durian Hotel was one of the few. The hotel spanned an area of 10,172 square meters, height of 12 floors and 126 guest rooms. It was speculated that the Durian Hotel management followed the urban Chinese saying that the number 13 is a bad omen, therefore a 13th floor is impressive. You know, I never understand that, like, why... Technically, there is still a 13th floor, it's just <laughs> a 14th <laughs> floor. Yeah. It's so powerful that even the building. Oh, but did it work though? On the Durian Hotel? <laughs> we shall see. The busiest spot on the hotel was the 12th floor, where the bar, mini gym, and a swimming pool is situated. The hotel was a frequent spot for high class businessmen and foreign investors visiting the city. Wait, there's a swimming pool in the Durian Hotel? But in the year 2001, month of April, Asian economic crisis starts to hit Davao City and its then struggling economy. Hostilities between Moro rebel forces, kidnappings by extremist groups. Not the Moros. <laughs> <laughs> Oops! <laughs> I apologize. Decreased visiting tourists and plunged down economic activities. Durian Hotel was heavily affected after Metrobank foreclosed the hotel due to unpaid obligations. What kind of unpaid obligations? Actually, wala nila gistate dyan kung unsa ang kanang specific na unpaid obligations. Pero, na sila yung utang. Oh, I bet they forgot to pay for the pool. The 13th floor. The 13th floor. Few years later, Davao City stood back up and is now booming in economy. The city prospered more than ever. The street where the hotel is located became a highly populated area where a number of schools, settlements, and even malls are located. The Durian Hotel was closed, but it wasn't demolished. The hotel gave people a glimpse of the hard past. For 17 years, bats and rodents replaced the high-class businessmen as hotel occupants. Wait, but why, why wasn't it demolished? Like, why wasn't it kept? Um, Ang owner niya kay naga hope siya na naagya pa yung mag renovate at kay papuga na siya place ano technical kayang place ba lang ang deep below rin tapos kung i destroy siya kay mas mababa yung price. But it's been how many years? 17. Oh, 17 years. So, isa pud na sa reason ay isa pud na sa reason na ng hunted. Hindi kasi siya gidemolish. Wala din actually. Now that we know the brief history, let's get into some stories. This abandonment, followed by the low maintenance in the empty hotel, led to alleged ghost topics and supernatural speculations. The ominous aura that the hotel brings because of the abandonment led some people to try and sneak in the hotel to do ghost huntings. Hmm, that sounds familiar. I think I know someone who actually tried that. The hotel became infamous for a viral video wherein the elevator is going up. Even though the hotel appears to be empty, and the electricity and the functionalities of the hotel are assumed to be cut off years ago. Wait, how could they tell the lights? I have Wait. TV videos. Watch this. Shit. Uh, that's it. Yeah. It's a ghost, though. I mean, maybe somebody actually used the the, the elevator to, like, I don't know, uh, secret drug den. <laughs> Oops. 
Urban allegations point out that the foundations of the building allegedly followed a horrendous ritual that used kidnap abandoned street children mixed in cement as to follow an urban myth that the blood of children brings good luck and fortified building foundations. Uh, what? So <laughs> <laughs> nai naga circulate sa Davao no myth na kanang especially sa bridges na if ano daw if um if magbuot daw building ba po daw nabot nga ng blood sa children ay mga fortified daw ang building ang magka good luck no. Would you still like to go trick or treating tonight kids? <laughs> This led to allegations that voices of little children can be heard coming from the hotel. The caretaker and the security guard of the abandoned hotel, who specifically asked not to disclose their names, told us some supernatural stories that happened inside. A translated quote, a lot of teenagers tried to sneak in the hotel, so we were hired to prevent just that. But sometimes, I feel better when people try to go here because I have some company. End quote. <laughs> wait lang. <laughs> wait lang. Wait. <laughs> he, he actually wants them to go there. Because oh, he's lonely. Oh, Uy, ni Kuya. Imagine, ikaw lang yung status ng bantay. Tagda ko pa naman. Ano, tapos mabuang niyo ba the hotel was said to have different ghost apparitions that often come as businessmen in suits or little children laughing and even footsteps and strange dragging noises are allegedly heard in the hallways. Caretaker said, quote, I often hear a lot of noises like the shower pouring or the dishes being used as if there are people occupying rooms. But when I open the door, there is always nobody inside. End quote. Maybe the ghosts are inviting him to a shower. Oh. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever find yourselves in nearby Durian Hotel, like, please think about think about the guard. The guard. The guard. It's so lonely in there. Like maybe bring a cake or two, maybe drop by, say hi. These infamous urban allegations and economic price issues allegedly sway foreign investors away from renovating the hotel. It has been 17 years since the closure of the hotel, but no one definitively wanted to renovate or let alone use the space for business junctures. Hmm. So, karan kay dili na siya haunted kay nanay mga tao dito nagarenovate. What? And no. Okay, I didn't have to build it, but I didn't have deals on going. So, I didn't have to check it once in a while. Nice, and nice. And it's more security. It's more security. First of all, I didn't have to come here to meet people. Peace. 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 Hello, we are here at the site of the Durian Hotel. And try to investigate. Let's go. We are going to go inside. 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 We don't want to do anything illegal. We don't want to cause any fights. But as you can see, Sa, in the middle of the street <laughs> as you can see in the middle of the street siya na nagakontrast din siya sa mga buildings na busy kayo diri uh, and makita uh, na to na kanilang lonely na place diri so dili jud siya far fetch na makaingon jud mga tao na kanilang so pan around geo There's only 12 floors! Where's the 13th floor? So, we saw it place. It was showed that it was been 17 years since it was abandoned. From outside, we saw it was abandoned. We saw it was abandoned. We saw it was prospered inside. And as you can see, Karun, it's 45 years old. They don't want to be able to renovate. And they're not strict, Karun. They're not going to be able to be able to renovate. This is new. And dalay at tatanjo, at tatanjo. So ma 11 pm to next week inside. Kaya kung hindi pa kayo strict ang ang sistema kini, dahil ma sudlan dera para sa cars na siya. Ano? Namatong dog na magyano? Shalom. 
siya. Siya lang i-report. So karoon kay gina-renovate na siya so dagan na kay tawas sa sulod and ongoing na ang process of renovation inside. But noon kay nai ero na do ako buok tapos kana ira mi next sneak inside. So, Ili pa kayo Ili pa kay strict ang uh, system at It's actually very creepy and you look at it. Actually, it's just a little bit of a creepy thing. So, this is the Antumilid Toa. It's high school. Actually, it's been a long time. 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 So, what's the plan? It's been a strategic plan. It's been a long time. 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 Tapos, nagplano-plano kami, kinakita naman na nai, doha ka dogs sa entrance pang daan. Tapos, naka, wala po, may kabalo na nakatali din sila. So, nai, isa na nag-bait siya. Tapos, narealize naman nakatali. Pero, saba ka, ayos. So, dapat, musulod mi na ka na wala na yung tao. Tapos, nasakpan mi niya mga sabi. Ito. So, nisud, nakasulod mi eventually. And, pag na nakasulod, kaya nai, upat ka dogs sa punahan. Pag yun, pagsulod mi mo, kaya di ba siya hotel mismo ka ng ano ba? Space pa doon sa annex building. Huwag mga abandon ng mga things as far as I can remember. Nasa baba lang mga table. Basta dagan dito ka ng mga tiputang nila dito. And ang aura dito mismo sa place kay Unlook dito siya. And nagnagan may yung star key. Nay, nagalabay pa ito sa mga. Wala may kabalo kong... Oo, oh, naka dito. Wala may kabalo kong guard dito siya or homeless na na dito or something. Pero sure dito na nay, nagalabay pa ito sa mga. Kaya nay, naigo. Nay, naigo. Nakaoba na mo. Oh, Wait, did you mention that earlier? <laughs> nagan eh. <laughs> Nalagan ni Padul Pasulod na dyan may kikikan sa gawas ng nagalabay sa so, so, moto So, pag ako naman sa pinakasulod kay Kay, itry na mo enter dyan inside the building Yan, yabot naman itong guards Nalagan na may gawas Yan And so, naka, nakasulod lang may dito lang sa first lang dyan And, ambot ng blur na akong memoryado kay Mag, kanang hype, mag siya mix of Hadlock na na i-guard na sa pan me O kanang hadlock Wait, you're not even a little bit Concerned about somebody throwing stones. Kato gani? Kato after namo na na sober na mga si dagan dagan balay yung nariyas na mga dinami pero yung sulod. Tano mo na na pansin kung asa ay agikan tong moto. Kasi kato ng nariyas na mga nawat pisa taas to. Nawala naman na siyang tasa. Actually handlock yun siya kato ng bato na part. Yung dugay na masan nariyas kay kato mga eighty percent handlock misa guard na nagabantay. Twenty percent sa gold. Twenty percent zero. Ay ten percent zero. And after that, okay, I'm going to have an experience, but I'm going to have a bad day, I'm going to have a trespass. You heard it here first. I'm going to have a trespass, I'm going to have a trespass. Especially when I'm going to have a trespass. Report this little bitch. I'm going to have a trespass. 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 Sure. Sure. I'm going to have a guard. I'm going to have a trespass. Hey. Pero pila mo dili siya ang naglabay kay kung civilized ka na kayo mga mga labor. So ang naglabay kay mga dogs. However, rigorous research and even a caretaker on duty can provide hard evidences as to where the supernatural and ghost allegations began. Skeptics believe that the sheer abandonment and the absence of lights and people in such a big and should be populated hotel makes the people automatically assume and feel that the hotel is haunted given that the hotel is in the middle of a busy street in the middle of a lot of busy buildings and malls can easily be differentiated given the long years of abandonment. I don't know. People want to see what they want to see. They want to believe what they want to believe. Was it all just a product of imagination? It sprouted from a viral video that got hardly debunked. Or are the urban allegations in the industry tools something more than just stories for children? What we certainly know for now is that business deals and minor renovations are ongoing inside, and the hotel might be able to regain its rightful prestige once again. But up until this day, hard evidences that prove whether or not Durian Hotel is definitively haunted still remains in the dark. <laughs> ghost areas or mga places na pwede i-visit or nai chance na pwede mga sulod just comment down below and we will tackle them and also sa among other na mga series about crimes and assault crimes sa Dabao pwede po mo mag-comment kung sa'y mga nabalas Happy yep. Halloween This has been us talking about the hauntings in Durian Hotel Good Bye